Howdy, howdy ho. I know, the Switch is selling great, and is even outpacing the Wii when the life cycle sales were matched up, likely in large part due to COVID-19, which has been a silver lining for the gaming industry in general. But the Switch is selling just fine. They don't need to upgrade. Well, the PS4 sold really well, and so is the PS5. Just because something is selling well doesn't mean it doesn't need to be improved. The horse and carriage were selling just fine. Why do we need cars? I get it, graphics aren't everything, but by that token we'd all still be playing 8-bit games. And here's the real kicker, I'm not just being a graphics horror drama queen. The power gap between the Xbox Series X and the Switch is the biggest gap in modern gaming history. Yes, it really is. The Xbox 360 was about 20 times more powerful than the Wii. The Xbox Series X is about 30 times more powerful than the Switch. Yes, I know, Nintendo fans have all the excuses. It's toiletable. It came out in 2017. Blah, 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 blah. What you don't realize is that there's people like me that play at home solely on a TV. And hear me out on this. If the Wii U is any real indication, then it's 10 million in sales means there's 10 million other Nintendo fans like me that play at home on a TV. Let's face the facts, the Switch is selling well because it's portable, as Nintendo's hottest selling hardware has been its portable offerings. Thus, a large part of the Switch's success is indeed tapping into the DS and 3DS user bases. Thus, what I'm asking does not represent the bulk of Nintendo fans, but once again, if the Wii U is any real indication, there's about 10 million of us that like to play our Nintendo games at home on a TV. And this is where it hurts. Yes, I know there are good exclusives. I mean, just duh, I've played almost all of them except Animal Crossing because the last thing I need is to maintain a digital life when my real life already barely gets enough attention. But what's more important to me as a multi-platform user is that I really have a sense of the absolutely mind-blowing gulf in power between the two systems. Not a lot of people are willing to put Switch games right up next to the competition, but this video is available in 4K just for the sake of. And it isn't just about higher resolution either. Just have a look at this abandoned base in Gears 5. Imagine Metroid having this kind of fidelity. Furthermore, they even have the ambience already. Just listen. It even pervades into just general smoothness of gameplay. Nintendo is absolutely trounced in every possible technical metric. There is absolutely no question that better hardware could drastically improve the look and feel of Nintendo's biggest games. It isn't just about art style used to mask graphical shortcomings either, it's the fact that other developers have made artistically beautiful, non-realistic looking games on superior hardware with stunning results. Stop using art style as an excuse for poor graphics. It's entirely possible to have both. I'm sweating. Oh jeez. Oh wow, that's disgusting. I'm really passionate about this. But then to make matters worse, it's also missing some of the most lauded and now common features such as party chat and invites. Now while I could live without achievements, not only does PlayStation and Xbox have them, but even Steam has them. We are reaching a point in time where Nintendo is no longer the budget option for fun, and it's fallen so far behind that it's beyond a generational gap. This is no longer just the third gaming option for Nintendo fans, and honestly, it's just embarrassing to defend them anymore. They are in danger of falling so far behind they can never catch up unless they're willing to take huge losses that will look bad to investors and the big cheeses and really make you question the future of the company. I love me some Zelda, some Mario, and I'm really looking forward to Bayonetta 3, Metroid Prime 4, and Breath of the Wild 2. And yet I know it will pay me a bit because I'm always on the latest hardware and this gives me perspective. It gives me the knowledge, mostly visually, that Nintendo could be absolutely crushing everyone. I want Nintendo to succeed because I grew up on them, but they are becoming horribly focused on their sales and not on their fan base. Down this path leads to a portable gaming focus that will just not fit into my lifestyle, and I really, really, really do not want to leave Nintendo behind. In summary, Nintendo needs to upgrade or replace the Switch ASAP. I'll see you next time on the Gaming Fab. You know, normally I do jump cuts to try and trim the video down, but instead this time most of those jump cuts are fixing this damned mustache.